Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E, and we're going to be looking at a new game called Junk Survivor. Junk Survivor is a zombie post-apocalyptic game where you loot, craft, build, and farm in a struggle to survive. How long before you die? This is on Steam. It is $17, but it is on sale at the moment for 10% off till May 4th. Thank you to the developers for sending me a key. Go ahead and get started with a single-player game. We're going to do a new game. I did play for about half hour just to kind of get my, you know, get my feet wet, and, um... Pretty interesting so far. So we do have a bunch of stats we can do. Strength is carry weight and base damage. Agility is critical damage and base armor. Stamina affects the maximum health. Intelligence is how many resources you get for mining. And luck is affects the chance of critical damage. So I'm going to go one in intelligence and it's either strength or agility. I think I'm going to go strength because I want that extra carry weight. So let's go. Oh, that's right. We have to give ourselves a name. Cage 848. Let's do it. And here we are in the world. So the first thing we're going to want to do is punch some trees to get some stuff. When I first played, I was getting one item per punch. Now it seems like I'm getting... Oh, so I'm getting one wood, but I'm getting two fiber. Or, okay, so I'm getting three total stuff, mostly per punch. One fiber and one wood, or two fiber and one wood. Or, you know, I'm getting more stuff than I was in my test game. My test game was like one and one the entire time. And I'm just going to punch the heck. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from that. So I will leave that alone. We're going to come over here. And the first thing we're going to loot, or first thing we're going to do is loot. But before that, even, we're going to make ourselves a wooden club. So let's go ahead and make a wooden club. And that will help us defend ourselves. This thing will take damage. But, you know, that's okay. It wasn't like it's super expensive. And let's come over here and get into our first set of combat. Now, as far as I know, the only thing to do in this game is block and swing. So we're going to come in and we are going to block until he swings and then swing back. I like to move back while I'm doing this. I don't know if I really need to or if it helps, but you, you might be able to get two hits in if you do it quick enough. But if you do one hit block, one hit block, you should be good to go. There we go. So what do we just get there? Oh, plastic. Okay. And a stone. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and loot the rest of this stuff. So we're getting some canned food and some cans. Newspapers and regular paper. What is newspaper? Oh, that's cloth. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks like a newspaper. Uh, cloth is really important. Um, so we got some spoiled meat, some more cloth. That is awesome. Let's come over here and loot these two boxes. And take a look at this box. Beautiful. So let's see what we can do with our fiber. I think I'd like to turn the fiber into cloth. So let's go ahead and there it is. There's the cloth. And we got 29, so we could do 25. We're going to go ahead and craft that into cloth. And then we're going to want to make ourselves a stone hatchet. Now, one thing I did not like about the game is when I got the stone hatchet, I could cut down the trees faster and get more wood. But the problem was I wasn't getting any I wasn't getting any fiber. So, you know, that was that was a bit of a bummer. I'm going to get a little bit more wood here. Go get one more wood. And then we're going to make the stone hatchet. Uh, then I got to make the stone pick. I can't make the stone pick yet. I need, uh, well, no, actually, I, well, I need a lot of cloth for that, though. I'm wondering if I should do that before I leave this area or not. I'm not sure. You can't sleep through the night. Uh, one of the things the developer told me is to remember to take apart. Um, he said something about taking apart furniture or something. So I'm going to keep a lookout for that. But right now, I'm going to get a bunch of this stuff. And let me show you how the hatchet works. So right now, I punched. I hit that and I don't get any, like, I don't get any of the uh, plants from it. Which, you know, honestly, plants, fiber. I don't get any fiber from it, and the fiber is really important. So that axe is not really super important to me at the moment. I feel like when you use the axe, you should still get the fiber. You should, uh, I don't, like, unless there's, like, something, maybe there's some kind of a uh, better way to get fiber later. I don't know, but right now, getting fiber is, um, it's tough. Let me see if I can hold down the button. Now, you gotta click the button. Can't hold it down. This is one of those games that's awesome. I can actually pause the game. Thank you very much for that, developers. I, I really appreciate it. I, I do not like it when games do not allow me to pause. I don't know anything about this map. I don't even know if there's a way to bring up the map. I'll check later. I don't want to be looking through menus trying to figure out how to bring up a map. But yeah, I mean, like, uh, that's character. That's blueprints. Yeah, I don't see anything about maps. So um, I, I don't really have, a, like, an idea of where I want to set up because I don't know anything about the map. I may be in a really bad spot to set up. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this town. I'm going to crack some zombie skulls and kind of think about it. Maybe uh, look around a little bit. Three, uh, they're all together. There's a guy in here. What's up, bro? 
So he looks different. There's supposed to be um different zombies that, that, that like act differently or whatever and you need different strats, but I don't know, this guy this guy looks different, but he's acting the same. He seems to have a lot of hit points though. I mean, really. Dude, how are you not dead yet? Oof, boy. Oh, bananas. Hell yeah. Alright, so food does spoil, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and eat that banana. It will give me 15 energy points, 10 hunger, and thirst. Cool. Num 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 bananas. I don't like the way those three guys are all together. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, a wrench. Hold wheel to use upgrade vehicles. Oh, cool. Car batteries. All right. The tool, the, the I don't know what you would call these. The icons leave something to be desired, but early access game, you know, it's fine. But yeah, those are not the kind of icons I would like, like to look at. <laughs> now, I don't know if I can pull one of these guys or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Save. There we go. And let's see if we can pull one of these guys. I'm going to try and body pull them. Body pulling is when you just walk up close enough to get their attention. And theoretically, I should be closer to the one zombie than the other two. And I really shouldn't get all three. But I tried this uh, off camera and it didn't work too well. See? Yeah, they're, they're all like connected or something. Ow. All right, let's get out here. Oh, they're going back? Really? Come on, guys. Don't give up so easily. There you go. Chump. It's kind of weird. It seems like they have a set like amount of distance they will go from their spawn point. And it can be exploited. Ow. Okay. Well, there you go. Take all. Take all. What is that? Ooh, dollars. I like me some dollars. Now, we did take some damage here, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? I don't know how to get hit points back. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Cloth, clay, campfire, workbench, bedroll, mortar, simper chest, key, door locks. Yeah, I don't see any way to get hit points back, so I'm not really sure. Duct tape. Uh, more spoiled meat and fiber and uh, cloth. Okay. Let me check out this big house right here. Uh, yeah, he said that... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Where the hell did that come from? Oh, there you are. Oh, two of you? All right. I'd like to take them outside, but the problem is they'll probably, if they get too far away from their spawn point, they won't, you know, they won't, they'll just turn out and go, go back. So the developer said something about take, don't, he told me specifically when he gave me the key, don't forget to take apart furniture. He said like, it's a real big deal. So I'm not really sure how to take apart furniture. I guess I'll just start hitting furniture with the ax. Oh, by the way, I did level up earlier. So let's spend some points, or at least one point. Okay, so here's my points. Um, I'm going to go with agility now for base armor so we can take less defense. Uh, or take <laughs> take less defense. So we can have more defense and take less damage. So let's see if we can hit this. Okay, if, you, if this is what he's talking about, I don't know. It doesn't have a hit point bar. I don't, I don't know if I can take this apart. I don't know. It's okay. We'll just keep looting. It just bothers me because he, he said it like it was a really big deal. <laughs> anybody else up here? I don't want to be surprised. It right, doesn't look like there's anybody else up here. Can I live in this building? I don't know. Maybe. That'd be pretty cool. I'd have a ready-made building for myself. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of stuff I need, but nothing like... Super sexy, like guns or anything. Oh, some ammo at least. Oh, there's just bullet casings. I think I might just try and stay here. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if we could build here. 
Um, first of all, we would need a building plan and we would need fiber for that. Uh, do we have 30 fiber? No, let's go get some more fiber. I'm going to try and set up in this house. Oh, I need a place to drop my stuff because I'm simply, um, getting encumbered at AF in order to make the chest. I need leather. I have no idea to get leather. I haven't seen an animal yet, but I'm still going to kind of see what I can do in here. Um, place building object, rotate building object, open building menu. Oh, there we go. All right, so could we, uh, let's just see if we can make a door. I don't see a door anywhere. That's a fence. Those are roofs. These are walls. There's a doorway. Maybe make a doorway. Uh, you see, I can't build in here. <clears throat> I probably need a, a foundation first. So let's put down a foundation. Uh, do I not have the wood? I have the wood. Yeah, I guess you just can't. Oh, there we go. You build in here. Uh, is there any way to make it go down? Height. Oh, boy. They respawned. Son of a B. All right, I'm going to stop playing around in here. I'm going to get out of here. We need to get some leather somehow. Just getting some food here. And I just talked to the developer, and they said you harvest. Uh, you can get leather by harvesting couches and sofas. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, right now, I'm just eating a bunch of food, trying to get my energy up. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. I made a pickaxe because you're supposed to harvest with the pickaxe. I also made it myself a torch since you can't sleep through the night. And I guess I'm, I am don't want to fight all three of these guys again. I mean, I guess it's good for experience, but I kind of want to just, like, see if I can get some leather here. So I'm going to kind of explore around the outskirts here. I might make a base right here. I, I don't know if you can actually build inside the houses. It didn't look like you could, but I think that's something I'll mess around with later. For now, I'd like to just um, maybe get some basic stuff going on. All right. Day one, 1738. Okay, so we're going to come across here. Hopefully there's less zombies around here since it's kind of like the outskirts of town. Oh, here we go. All right. It's weird you can't loot those things. They look lootable. All right. Food in cans. I'm assuming cans will be used for something at some point. Okay. I'm not seeing any furniture. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm officially full now, so I can't I can't loot anything else. Maybe we should just make a base outside of this town. Alright, you know what I do? I'm gonna take some time since it's dark. I'm gonna come out here where there's no hopefully nothing that's gonna hurt me. And I'm just gonna make a little outpost here. Because um, I do need a place to drop stuff off. Even if it's not going to be my main base, it, it can eventually be an outpost. I went ahead and set down a few platforms. I could not make a simple chest because I don't have the nails. So I went ahead and made a mortar. And I guessed right because the mortar does have loot. You know, places to store loot in it. So that is awesome. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the door there. Because I will try and put a door somewhere on one of these bases. Although I'm 90% sure you can't do that. But still, I'll give it a shot. Trees are growing back as well, which is awesome. And I also noticed that there's a skill tree. This is the, this is the character that you saw. There's a skill tree over here. So there's all kinds of stuff. Requires level 5. Requires one skill point. So there you go. I don't know how you get skill points. Maybe you just get them automatically at certain levels. I'm not really sure. Um, can you not loot cars? I know you could take cars apart for things. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have room for all the car parts. Uh, apparently, if you find some kind of car building place, you can uh, b build yourself a car with those car parts. What's going on in there? You guys getting all worked up? I wonder if they, they must have heard me. All right, you. Where are you? Come on, any furniture in there? See, I'm not... Oh, there's a couch. Okay, I just saw a couch. Maybe I can get leather from that. Right, is there only one guy in here? Hopefully. Nope. Oh, maybe. It's hard to tell. No, there's another guy coming down the stairs. Right, he's done. By the way, I did, I did spend another skill point at night. I put it in strength. Or did I do that on camera? I don't remember. I'll show you my skill points in a minute. All right, you. There you go. It's nice that the zombies are lootable. I do appreciate that, no matter how small the loot is. There's my skills right there. I don't know if I showed you the... The other point in strength, but just in case you didn't see it. Alright, so I should be able to use a pickaxe on this for leather. 
Oh, there we go. Wait, is that leather or cloth? That looks just like cloth. There's one piece of leather, dude. Oh my God. It's not like this stuff's all over the, oh, this one's pretty big. Hold on. Maybe there's, maybe we got something here. Let's check this one out. Oh, there's another piece of leather. Still seems pretty rare on the leather, but this one is definitely giving more leather. Can we take this apart? No. You'll know if you can take it apart by um, seeing the red numbers pop up when you hit it. So if there's no red numbers, can't take it apart. All right, I don't like this guy. He's, he's making me mad. Where are you? Not up here. Is he outside? Oh, there he is. Get off me, bro. I don't know what the penalty for blocking is. Like, it, it doesn't seem to take stamina or anything. So, I don't know. I don't know if you could just sit there and block all day or what, but it's very effective so far. All right, I do need food. Oh, salt. There we go. Actually, I need drink is what I need. Empty bottle. Can I fill up bottles somewhere? Sheesh, I'm almost full again already. Oh, boy. Maybe I should make the backpack first. I wasn't... I wasn't planning on it, but I mean, I only have five leather. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Good in there. What about you? Yeah. Give me some of those nails. Oh, nails. Good. I need nails. That'll let me make a box. Mm, oh, these empty cans are for. I don't need empty cans. I need food, bro. All right, this house has been cleared. So now we're going to go. I really need water, dude. Like, for real. All right, let's see if we can put this uh, door on here. I'm kind of curious. It doesn't look like it. Nah. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I figured it was worth a try. I'm going to go drop stuff off. Then we'll. Oh, actually, I don't have a lot of room to drop stuff off. I don't have a map either. The map's not in the game yet. It said the map is coming soon. Uh, where the heck is my base? I think it's out here somewhere. I did have some trouble finding my base, but I eventually found it. So, no big deal. Did we come in this place yet? I think we did. No, we didn't. Because there's couches and stuff lying around. Take all. There we go. We got some water. Beautiful. I'm going to drink that right now. I don't know if the water drinks stack, so I'm just going to drink them one at a time. It's like water over time, by the way. What is that? Uh, crude salt. Alright. Good salt. Good salt. Good salt. Alright. I don't need you sneaking up. Oh boy. There's a few of them. Can I close that door? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. They don't seem to wander. So I'm going to assume those guys are going to be A-OK -okay over there. Alright. You know what I'm going to do? One more point. In no. I'm going to do luck. I, I got to do. I want to start doing agility and luck. I think strength might have been a bad idea maybe. I don't know. They, they all have their good and bad points. You know. It's not like one thing is great and all the others are garbage. The thing is, um, agility gives you uh, crit damage and luck gives you crit chance. So if you're going to do one, you want to do the other. And I really like the armor that... Um, can I break this down? Doesn't seem like it. I really like the armor that you get from agility. Getting damage and damage reduction in the same ability is pretty cool. Okay. Didn't think so. So this house is uh, just about done. Ooh, I didn't think you could loot leather. That's nice. I mean, it makes sense, but I just haven't gotten any of it yet. Okay, I've already looted that. That's right. I remember that. So I got to get in this house. It looks like we're going to have to fight those guys out front. Oh, wait a minute. No, I've already done all this house. Never mind. I was like, I got to get into another part of the house. No, why? Why do you have to get into another part of the house? The enemy responds fairly quickly, too, which means you got to kind of be on your toes. Right. Oh, and remember how I said if you chop down trees, you don't get um, you don't get the fiber. That's not true. I was chopping down a, a tree, getting the fiber. Uh, the thing was, is it was a big tree, not the smaller trees. And good. That gives me enough nails to make my first chest. I've already made a second mortar. Just to have, uh, you know, something to store my stuff in. You might want to put in a smaller chest that, like, you don't need nails for. Like, storage is, is kind of important. Alright. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now I'm going to start forgetting what places I've been to, what, which ones I haven't. Mm. This. All right. There's some baddies in here. I know it. I just got to find them and dispatch them. You're going to be dispatched. I think this guy has more hit points than the regular zombies. Because he definitely takes more damage. No doubt. I was killing regular zombies in three hits. This guy's already at four hits. And he'll probably go with quite a few hits. Is it six? Seven? Seven hits. More than double the uh, hit points. So that is interesting. It's kind of weird to see a, a trash container like this in a house. Like, that's not normal. I'm assuming I'm going to be melting down those, uh, those cans for, like, metal and stuff. There. I'm also going to drink this. Let's try to get kind of full here. I'm going to look for... This is what I'm looking for here. I'd like to make that workbench today. And I guess I'm just going to stay around this, this town. I don't know. The thing is, if this, if these, um, sofas don't respawn... I'm going to only be able to get so much leather, and that's going to be the problem. Mm, is there an upstairs? No. Oh, there you are. You little bugger. He didn't respawn, did he? I know they respawn quick, but not that quick. I'm going to get me a gun. Actually, maybe not. The melee seems to be working pretty good, and it's quiet. Also, my uh, club is about to break. I already have a second club ready to go. Oh, a crit! Ah, oh, the crit wasn't that high. Ooh, banana. Hell yeah. Get that. I love me some bananas. Alright, I'm gonna grab this. And I think after I grab this, I, eh, I might go home because I don't think I have enough, like, room for anything in here. I'm gonna make that bag, dude. Like, for real. Can I make it right now? I think I can. No, I don't have the, um, the cloth. Or... Do I? Yeah, you know what? The hell that I'm making this. Wait. Eight? Eight, where is it? Oh, I only have seven. Okay. I thought it was five for some reason. We'll have it. We will have it. I think I'm going to go back pretty soon. Pretty sure I got that room. Dude, did he respawn again? What the hell? Right, I'm just going to run this guy off. He's got my nerves. You're not worth my time, bro. Gotta figure out where my base is. Uh, oh, I can see it from here. See it right there? Now, this guy should be off me by now. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, he seems to go pretty far. Those other guys were like, would be off me by now. This guy still wants a piece of KJ48. You believe that? Alright, he finally he finally made the right decision. Decided to get, get out of my Get out of my business. All right. So how much leather do I have? I have 12. Okay. So if I make the backpack, can I still make the workbench? 15. No. Eight. No, I can. No, I can't. I'm one short. All right. I'm going to make the backpack first. It'll help me loot more. Being able to loot more is going to help me um, quite, a, quite a bit. So let's drop all this stuff in here. There we go. We just need one more leather. And can we drop some more stuff in here? Yes, we can. Where's my backpack? There it is. Equipped. And now we can hold more stuff. Awesome. All right, let's, let's go get some more leather, man. We just need one more leather for the workbench. It's cool that the backpack actually shows up there, too. I'm going to think about some armor as well. And... Have we been in here? I don't think we have. Although I really should go in houses because I'm supposed to be looking for leather. Or, you know, pelts or leather or whatever they're called. Leather, pelts, leather pelts, I don't know. Have I been in here? I'm pretty sure I've been in here. Yes. Mm, ugh. Let's go around this way. <laughs> Just don't want to deal with them. 
Now I've gotten that house, I've gotten this house, I've gotten both of those houses. I think we're gonna have to... Hold on. Can they, like, hear me through walls and stuff? I feel like they can. The zombie sounds are pretty good, by the way. I like them. I don't know. Maybe not. Let me go up in here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, lots of couches in here. Is there an upstairs? Or is that coming from the outside? I have a feeling it's coming from the outside. All right, come on. Let's get these couches. Developer said he's going to add into the game a bit of a tutorial. Because otherwise, like, how would I know to hit a couch with a pickaxe for leather? Like, you know, uh, wait, did I get any? What the hell? Oh, that was some BS, bro. It was only certain couches? Oh, that blows. Oh, I don't like that. No, not a fan. Not a fan, my friend. Shut up, bro. Could be worse. How? I don't know. It just could be. It's nice how much cloth we're getting. I appreciate that. What is that? Oh, you used in crafting. Alright, and wood. Did I level up and not spend my points? No. Okay. I am level four. Okay, I think this building's done. Can I break this? Oh yeah, I can. There we go, we got a little piece of leather. A lot of parts too. What are those parts actually called? They are called metal scraps, okay. Now, should I, I'm gonna explore this over here and then we're gonna go home after this and make that workbench. Oh, you can actually hold down right mouse button, and if you double click the left mouse button, you can swing without ever having to take your hand off the right mouse button. I appreciate that. It's the small things. Oh boy. You it? Yeah, you're done. Probably nothing great in here. Interesting area. Ugh, I don't really care about paint. Paint's not gonna help me survive. Oh, I forgot I got more room. Yeah, I forgot about that. Not much more room, though. So I'll pick up the paint. Mm, or not. Okay, whatever. I don't care that much. All right, let's get back to base and let's make ourselves a workbench. So we got down the workbench and check this out. You can we can now make planks, tarps, plastic. Do you do I loot plastic or yeah, I'm pretty sure I was looting plastic. Empty bottles, metal hatchets, pickaxes, stop sign. I'm guessing that's a um a melee weapon. Watering can, gun parts, medium gun parts. Um furnace. Uh what else? Research table. A table can be used to, uh, to create scrolls and books. Um, water can water catcher, wa uh, wall torch, standing torch, and spike walls. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, there, there's obviously a lot more to this game than I've been seeing so far. So I'm very excited to do more episodes. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by liking the video and watching the video and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, if you're new here, eh, maybe subscribe. You know, you might want to subscribe. I think like half of you guys are not subscribed, but it really helps the channel if you subscribe. I really hope today is the day I've earned your subscription. I am going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.